Good morning, K3 students. This is Teacher Donna, and I hope everybody is okay. So our subject for today is science, and our topic is sink or float. Sink or float. But before that, I want everybody to please stand up and do the warm-up songs, which is Hello, Hello. Are you ready? Before we proceed, let us review your previous lesson, which is insects. Can anyone tell me what kind of insect is this? Yes, very good. Ant. How about this one? Bee. Good job. And the third picture? Butterfly. And the last picture, cutter pillar. Very good. The lesson for today is about sink or float. Sink or float. Can you repeat after me? S I N K F L O A T Sink or float. Imagine that this is a water in a basin and when you put something it will either float or sink. When it will go down meaning it will sink. If it stays above it will float. Alright? So first, we are going to identify the things that will sink. As you can see on the screen, there are different things. Meaning when you put them in the water, they will go down. They will sink. Number one, coin. Repeat after me, coin. He. Key, scissors, scissors, very good, soap, soap, and the last one, rubber, rubber. Now let's move on with the things that will float, float. It means that when you put them on the water, they will float. They will not go down. Number one, we have straw. Straw. Number two, leaf. Leaf. Number three, plastic cup. Plastic cup. Number four, orange, orange, those unpeeled oranges will not sink, okay? Unless you will peel them, it will sink. And the last one, we have toothbrush, toothbrush. Your target language will be sink or float sink or float question what will happen if i put the different objects in the water will it sink or float okay as you remember a while ago i asked you imagine this as a basin with water if we are going to put these things that you can see on your screen in the water, will it sink or float? Are you ready? First picture, we have coin. Coin. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Who can answer me? Yes, it will 
sink very good and how about the leaf will it sink or will it float very good it will float how about the orange can anyone tell me the answer yes it will float because it is unpeeled orange how about the rubber or the eraser yes it will sink and the last object it will also sink the key will sink okay let us now move on with your activity but before that please check your worksheet with you if it's the same as the activity that you can see on your screen it should be the same with your paper and also please write your name and your class k3 slash 5 for your activity you are going to color the objects that can float okay color the objects that can float then circle the objects that can sink circle the objects that can sink first we have here leaf leaf will it sink or will it float if the leaf will float you will color if it will sink circle number two rubber number three toothbrush number four key number five orange and number six scissors okay and when you're done if you are finished please submit your papers to teacher donna and i will be the one to check them all right that's all for today students and see you again next time goodbye